All right, all right, guys. Here's here's where I have uh, here's where I'm getting tripped up on the Diddy stuff. First of all, people are coming out of the woodworks with all the judgmental shit. Diddy's done now. They found a thousand bottles of baby oil. Like what? I guess baby oil illegal. Then there's people on threads. Well, there was ecstasy in the baby oil. That that's getting ridiculous now. So I'm thinking, all right, there's nothing wrong with baby oil. And then, okay, a ditty party, sex and drugs. All right, maybe because I, like, I just got done with my entire, like, youth, my prime. <laughs> like, I've seen a lot. There's sex and drugs at every party. All the celebrities' parties, there's sex and drugs, right? So, if there was sex and drugs at Diddy's party, they're going to bust Diddy for that? Or they, they, would have to, they would have to bust everyone. Uh, so then... <clears throat> Then they're saying there's men and women in there. Where's the LGBT community? All of a sudden, they're going to put it in question if he's gay or not. They, they have a parade for the fucking guy, the other person. And Diddy, now they're making it like, who cares if he's gay or not? Um, hookers are all over. They're like uh, across state lines. But when you fly a hooker from Atlanta, that's a, a, a dancer at King of Diamonds. And she's also hooking on the side. Because I'll tell you what... Um, also, life experience, you can't tell me what I've lived through. I'll be damned if, you know, when you're in a, a big city, public place, if three out of every four girls having a conversation with, they don't try to hit you with a price and you tell them take a walk. Like, there's a there's too many get money girls walk out there right now. There's too many. I don't know what's going on. Thumbs down. There's too many hookers and prostitutes out there to begin with. Now you're going to bust Diddy for... For flying across state lines like he had a broad in the trunk or something in a blanket. Like when, you, when you're a billionaire and you have a jet and they're dancing somewhere and you're flying into Miami, that, that's what happened. So uh, I don't know if he should be in jail for life for that. Uh, if I said if he's gay or not, it should be nothing. So the Cassie thing in the hotel, that's domestic battery. That's not what he's being charged with. That's a character thing, but it has nothing to do with his charges. So the baby oil, I'm, I'm not... I don't give a shit about the baby oil. The sex and drugs is not a surprise. What's They're going to act surprised? The feds are going to come get you because you had sex and drugs? Are they going to arrest every fucking musician? <laughs> uh, rappers don't have hookers? And like, oh my God. Like, uh, why are we being so naive? I just don't get all this. But uh, I'm waiting for the evidence. I, I think this is a smear campaign on everybody Diddy's got tapes on. Because I'm still not hearing what he, his crime, like, oh, shit, he deserves to be in jail for life or all, oh, like, you know, so we're, I'm waiting. I want to see. So the thing, the, the biggest thing, Epstein got, you know what, before those lists, those lists never came out. Diddy's got tapes for years. He's been slinging dick off the chandelier for 30 years. The tapes he must have, you don't hear a peep from any of these celebrities. <laughs> They were all at the Diddy party. Steve Harvey coincidentally left the country the day they got they grabbed Diddy and pinched him. Close buds. Uh, I'm just curious. I'm not gonna judge Diddy because they're all like there's a million people getting crazy like that. So, but now I don't know if like him. He was pretty deviant. See, that's what happens. He he it just ran away with him. He got so deviant and crazy that it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Now he's having these crazy sex parties, orgies. And then how could they not call Cassie? How could they not call Cassie? All of this is is tied in with her. Kid Cuddy's car getting blown up. They got to talk to her, right? She's the one who told them. Uh, she's the one who told them. Uh, you know, the, the hotel incident, the freak offs. Cassie was banging male strippers for like seven, eight years, you know, and then later on, she started going with Diddy's trainer. Diddy had a guy training her to get in shape. A couple things happened, you know, she's with him now and they sued him. So I don't know, you know, you want to just point the finger at one person, but you know, she, she did all that with the with the male prostitutes and she did baloney wash the trainer and she would him you know so i don't know i don't know it, it's it's really one way now they're crucifying this guy now he gave her 30 million 
now now he, now they're gonna pinch him for sex parties. He's gonna get pinched for sex parties and drugs. I mean, Jesus Christmas, the, these people are do, taking drugs. Greed, excess, and Diddy's a bad fucking guy. Diddy's a bad guy. He mistreats people, and that's what's coming back to him. Diddy is a motherfucker. I've heard so many stories about Diddy mistreating people, temper tantrums, like real, like narcissist, only cares about himself. And uh, that karma is why they're all coming, they're going after him. It's not the fucking, the Tootski and, and the hookers, I don't think. I, I, it doesn't sound like anything out of the ord. It's the, it's the bastard that Diddy's been and they're sending it in.